looks like I have no choice but to go through Father's factory. Hey, you old bastard. And I didn't believe you when you said I'd be coming back here. first entered the factory, Bella Ganes, my father's secretary, said to me, Welcome to the heavenly kingdom, Matt. Clasp your hands in prayer and thank your father, for he is the true shepherd of our little community. God damn, she was weird. For me, that place was a twisted circus of oddities. A frightening mix of the waxy, porcelain faces of fallen angels who had overdosed on heroin and their flawed creators. Mentally handicapped Mike, who could hardly speak. Richard with the club foot, after his accident at the mill. Or Mitch. Oh fuck, that guy was just frightening. Apparently, he was a fisherman once. The police picked him up after someone saw him running around the pier with the severed head of Lawrence Willis. Why didn't they lock him up? I have no clue. But he so much as looked at me, I'd shit my pants. And ruling all over them was he, 
creator and perpetrator. Their shepherd. My fucking father. The bridge is raised, but I think there was a crossing beyond the forest. I hope it still works. Pretending we're not here. It makes us sad when you don't look at us. We're offended, Matt! Maybe we should meet face to face. So you can finally look us in the eye. So you can look at us the way you looked at your fucking father. Matt, will you finally look at us? With fear and respect? You're nobody, Matthew. You're a coward and a liar. You're not worthy of your family. You shouldn't wake up next to them every morning. You should just lay down and die. Go ahead, Matt. Go ahead. Do us that favor. Go kill yourself. Come to us. We want to finally explain everything to you. You were never a bad kid, Matt. You try! Dad knows that. He cries every night. Where's my little Matthew? Why did he leave me? Because you did, Matt. You left him. You let him suffer. But it's okay. Everything will be fine. We'll explain to you what needs to be done. How to fix your mistakes. Yes, Matt. Your mistakes. Just come to us already.
this forest burned once. It was one of those days when father came home, like always. Poured himself a glass of whiskey, and then another one, and another. Mother was making supper in the kitchen. I went to her and asked her if I could go outside to the garden. She told me to go ask my father. So I did. And father must have been very busy with his drinking because the next thing I remember was lying on the floor with a bloody nose. Father was yelling. You want to go outside, man? You want to fucking go outside? Go on, then. Get the fuck out and never come back. Mother came running. She got in between us, shielding me. And he hit her for a long time. He hit her with his belt like she was an object. Tears covered her face. But she hugged me and didn't make a sound. I was tight in her embrace, holding some toy, wishing the world to end. I wanted hell to open up and the flames to swallow my father. Mother cried quietly. Dad swore at us. And then, through the window, I saw the forest burning in the distance. I thought my prayers had been answered, and the devil himself had come for my father. But it was only drunk Paul Steiner who'd set the mill on fire with a cigarette.